It's important to keep in mind that uh, most of the countries who are sued under the treaties are developing countries, uh, or often quite poor countries. So an example is a, a lawsuit brought by an American company called Aman American Manufacturing that owns some kind of uh, factory in the Congo involved in producing batteries. And uh, the um, company had located in the Congo uh, for some business opportunity, I assume, but at a time when the Congo was uh, enduring a terrible civil conflict, as it has been for many years. And at a certain point, uh, that factory was uh, invaded by uh, some kind of armed group uh, in uh, the Congo. And uh, a tribunal established under an investor state arbitration process uh, actually ordered the Congo to pay millions of dollars in compensation to this company uh, because the government had, uh, in the views of, of the arbitrators, not done enough to protect the company from this threat of invasion of their factory. And the problem with that is, you know, investors really have to be held to the business choices they make and the risks they undertake when they decide to go to a place like the Congo and not just fall back on governments of poor countries to uh, compensate them when things go wrong.